Hello and welcome to this video! I'm going to give you a quick update on all the changes on the Hilton American Express credit cards. Uh, maybe you find this video useful, feel free to ask questions in the comments and then I'll give you more of them. Let's just get started with the flagship card, the Hilton Aspire card. The annual fee is $550 and the current sign-up bonus is 180,000 points as well as the change design of course which i'll probably already put on the screen you earn 14 points on hilton spend you earn seven on flights booked with airlines or through the travel portal and seven on dining but just in the us so not like on the amex gold where you get them globally it's just in the us and then you earn three points on everything else the card gives you complimentary diamond status with no stay requirements that gets you upgrades to suits and that kind of stuff but you also get the lounge access if your hilton property has a lounge you also and this is new get the mid-tier emerald uh, club executive status from national car rentals now i don't even have a license so i don't really know how valuable that is but apparently you're able to score car upgrades i mean good if you have it right um what's new is the 400 dollar yearly resort credit so before it was just 200 now you have a 400 dollar resort credit and it's semi-annually so you get it two times a year but you have to book a stay at one of the participating resorts i might put the link down in the comments you can check that out um but there's loads in there so you'll probably find something good for you um you get the free night rewards you can use that at any hilton portfolio hotel and then you get an extra night if you spend $30,000 in the calendar year and two extra nights if you spend $60,000. So for $30,000 you get one, for $60,000 the other. So you could potentially end up with up to three free nights in a year um, if you spend that $60,000 on the card. Now you might want to spend that on a Delta card to get your whatever, but uh, potentially that's what you would be able to get. Now, you also get the $100 Hilton on property credit every time you stay at the Waldorf or Conrad uh, and book for two nights or more, but they have to be one of the properties that participate in that. Um, I think if you book through the Amex Platinum, you also get that at many more hotels and I think it's giving you a little bit better value. Um, but then, of course, you don't get the, the, the 12x uh, if you book... Uh, whatever that's just my opinion you get the 100 dollar property credit with waldorf and conrad you also get the flight credit and this is not incidentals anymore like on the platinum or i believe on the aspire before now you just get the flight the fare the airfare so you have 50 dollars per quarter up to 200 dollars per year so if you book a flight with the airline or through the portal um the 50 dollars you get back right so if you book that 30 dollar spirit flight you just get that back. If you book a $500 ticket, you get 50 of that back every quarter that you book. Um, exactly, that's, that's a really nice benefit and I love that. You also get the $198 clear credit. And then of course you have all your car rental, baggage insurance, trip delay insurance, all that stuff that you also get on the Platinum. Even the concierge, but I'm not sure if the concierge on the Aspire is the same as the Platinum. And you get the return protection, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna bother with like the numbers and everything. I might do a separate video for insurance and go over all the insurance numbers and stuff um, that, that's coming up soon. You do have, however, a new cell phone protection, okay? So it's $800 per claim, two claims per year with a $50 deductible, and your cell phone has to be listed on your wireless bill and the prior month's wireless bill um, that needs to be paid with that Aspire card. Um, I'm not sure if it, if you just go to the Apple store and you buy a phone and you put it on there, but I think it should also be covered, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, that was all for the Hilton Aspire card. Now, let's switch it up for the Hilton Surpass card, which is a level below that. It has a $150 annual fee and the $170,000 sign-up bonus. Hilton points. You earn 12x on Hilton, 6x on dining, 6x on supermarket, 6x on gas, and 6x on online retail, but all within the US, not internationally, and then 3x on everything else. Um, the card gets you Hilton gold status, which does give you upgrades here and there. I've been getting nice upgrades in Europe with the gold status as well before I had diamonds. Um, you do have that breakfast credit as well. 
in the US and in Europe and Asia and stuff, you just get free breakfast, just like with Diamond. So that's a very valuable perk if you're outside the US. In the US, I believe with Hilton, you get like your $12, $20 credit. I'm not sure how much it is. Um, you do not have lounge access, but here's the cool thing. If you have that surpass card and you spend 40,000 in a year, you'll be, up, you'll be upgraded to Diamond. So that's good and you have it for the year. You also get that Emirate Club executive status. And you do have a $200 Hilton credit, okay? So other than the Hilton Resort credit, this $200 Hilton credit, um, you can spend it on all Hilton properties, but it is $50 per quarter. So every quarter, the first $50 you spend on Hilton, that's free. Um, you do get that one free night after spending $15,000 in the calendar year on the card. Now you do have these usual insurances again, but the numbers might vary because it is a lower tier card. So I think the the premiums and like what you would get back and that is a little bit different but again i will make a separate insurance video i link to it here um and that that's it for the surpass card now let's talk about the free hilton honors card um zero dollar annual fee 100 sign up bonus right now you have 7x on hilton and then you have 5x on dining supermarkets and gas within the us 3x on everything else you get hilton silver status which i think is worth nothing really like why would you bother i mean you know, if you stay with Hilton anyway, you have it and you, you grow into gold and diamonds, so that's fine. But like, I don't see silver status as a valuable perk. And then you have the usual insurances, but then it's less insurances and it's also lower amounts of money. That concludes my Hilton Honors credit card video so far. I hope you have liked it. If you did, please leave a like and maybe recommend it to a friend. Thank you so, so much for watching and you have a good day.